you go to the word of God, every promise you see there, you go and begin to claim it. Claim this one. The ones he said to Abraham, you claim. The ones he said to Jeremiah, you claim. The ones he said to Ezekiel, you claim. The ones he said to Israel, you will claim. The ones he said to his apostles, you will claim. The one he said to his disciples, you will claim. But you are not ready to be an Abraham. You are not ready to be a Jeremiah. Huh? I will hasten my word to perform it. Abi, that's what he told Jeremiah. Now you go to God and say, God, you said to me, I will hasten your word to prove it. Are you Jeremiah? Are you standing on the principles that Jeremiah stood for? He said to Abraham that I will make you fruitful. I will multiply you. I will replenish your seed. And then you go and claim it. And when God gives you the task that Abraham need to do, you begin to run away. You are making the word of God to be unworkable. What did I say? Unworkable. You are making it not to be able to work in your situation. And that's why when people look at the word of God, they think, they tend to think that the word of God is not working. Because many of the people that lay hold on God's word, on their situation, are not living life that synchronizes with those that should reap the fruit of those declarations. The word of God works. And listen, we cannot exhaust this, this ministration. I want you to understand that this program is not ending. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? The program is going to continue on telling you the word of God. Who said it? All we do in our fellowships, in the charismatic hour, is to tell you what God has said. What we do in the Bible study is to tell you what God has said. What we tell you in the Sunday lights is what God has said. What we tell you in the home prayer meeting is what God has said. So if you think after this ministration, you say, ah, the, 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 the program has ended and you go back and go and stay without hearing what God has said, you are not going to be fulfilled. You won't begin to get what God wants you to get. So you need to look out. Go to get the materials that is flowing from this pulpit that is being preached by our, our general superintendent. Look out for them. They are in the Vow TV. They are other places. Get them. Listen to them. Old messages. They are in cassettes. They are in, in an MP3. Get them. Listen to those things. Those words cannot fail. Are you hearing me? It is not you are there. You are listening to voices, sights and sounds flowing every day, bringing doubt, bringing despair, bringing fear into the life of people, economic recession and analysis by experts that is spelling doom and hopelessness. And as you continue to listen to those words, you will become a product of those things you hear. Are you hearing me? You are what? A product of what you hear. 